Hi everyone. Welcome back to Developer Maddie. In today's tutorial, we're diving into some of the most powerful features in Microsoft Word, creating a table of contents, an index, and a list of figures. If you've ever felt lost in a large document or wanted to make your reports more professional, these tools will save you time and make your documents look polished. We'll start with the table of contents, which gives readers an overview and allows quick navigation through your document. Here's how to set it up. Step 1, apply heading styles first. We need to apply heading styles to the sections we want to include. Select a heading in your document, go to the Home tab, and choose Heading 1, Heading 2, or Heading 3. These styles define the structure of your table of contents. Step 2. Inserting the table of contents once your headings are set. Click on the References tab and select Table of Contents. Here, you'll see different formatting options. Click on one to insert it. Word will automatically generate a table of contents based on your headings. Step 3. If you've made changes to the headings in your document, such as renaming a title, you'll want to ensure these updates appear in your table of contents. Here's how. Locate the heading or title you wish to change, for example, index. Edit the heading directly in the document, such as changing index to index of report. Now, go to the References tab in the Word toolbar. In the Table of Contents group, click on Update Table. and your table of contents will refresh, now reflecting the latest heading changes such as index of report. For documents with visuals like charts or images, a list of figures can help readers locate these visuals quickly. Here's how to create one. Step 1, adding captions to figures start by adding captions to each figure. Click on the figure or image. Go to the References tab and choose Insert Caption. This opens a dialog box where you can type a descriptive caption. Repeat this for all figures you want included in the list. Step 2. Inserting the list of figures once captions are added, place your cursor where you want the list. Go to References Insert Table of Figures. Choose the caption label, style, and click OK. Word will compile a list of figures for you. Step 3, updating the list of figures just like the table of contents and index, you can update your list of figures if you add or remove images. If you've added, removed, or edited figure captions in your document, it's essential to update your list of figures to reflect these changes. Here's how. 
Locate the figure in your document where you want to add, remove, or modify a caption. To edit, simply click on the existing caption, update the text. Scroll to your list of figures, usually located after the table of contents or index. Click on the list of figures to select it, making sure a gray field box appears around the entire list. Now, go to the References tab at the top of Word. In the Captions group, select Update Table. Your list of figures will be refreshed with any new or updated captions. Next, let's create an index, which is super useful for technical documents, reports, or books where you want to reference keywords or important topics. Step 1. Marking index entries to build an index. Start by marking the terms you want included. Select a word or phrase, go to the References tab, and click Mark Entry. This will open a dialog box where you can customize the term. Click Mark or Mark All if you want all instances of that word indexed. Step 2. Inserting the index after marking all your entries, place your cursor where you want the index to appear, usually at the end of your document. Go to the References tab and click Insert Index. Choose your preferred style and click OK. Your index will be generated automatically. Step 3. Updating the index if you need to add more entries or make edits. Highlight the specific word or phrase you want to add to the index. Go to the Reference tab, select Mark Entry under the Index group, and click Mark or Mark All, if you want this entry to appear every time the word is used throughout the document. Once you've marked all the additional entries, scroll down to your index at the end of the document. Click on the Index section. Go to the References tab and click Update Index from the Index group. This will refresh your index to include any new or edited entries. And that's it. Now you know how to create a table of contents, index, and list of figures, giving your documents a professional edge. These tools are perfect for reports, manuals, and any large document where organization is key. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have questions, and subscribe to Developer Matty for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.